Matthew 21, look at verse number 42. The Bible says, Jesus saith unto them, did ye never read in the scriptures? So right away, he's just asking a question. Well, didn't you read? Didn't you ever read this? You know, they come to Jesus with questions or they're, or they're you know, spouting off their false doctrines. And he's just like, how can you believe that? How can you even ask about this? Didn't you read the scriptures? And that's the number one thing that's a problem with so many people. You know, and so many scholarly types, the the, the James Whites and the Durpins and the, you know, these people that want to be all sound real intellectual and, and throw out all the big theological terms and they, they tout their degrees at seminary and all this other stuff and, and they want to sound really intelligent and really smart. You know what the problem is? They're just not reading the Bible. And when they are reading the Bible, they're not believing it. Because... They're relying on their own knowledge and their own wisdom of the world. And, oh, I know Greek and I know that. Why don't you just learn to understand English? Just, just read the Bible for what it says. You know, God's given us scripture in English. Just, just understand the language. And um, they want to go off and think they could get, glean these extra meanings. And they really know what the Bible says. It's a bunch of nonsense. But, and they have so many false doctrines, like, didn't you read this? Look at uh, verse number 42. Bible says, Jesus said unto them, Did you never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner? This is the Lord's doing and is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And when you talk to people, these dispensationalists and, and these people who um, don't believe in what, what we believe in is called replacement theology. It doesn't matter what the, what the name is for it. But these people who don't want to believe that God has stopped using Israel. He's taken away their part. That Jesus came unto his own and his own received him not. That the Jews aren't some special people. They're not just still God's chosen people and they've got a free pass into heaven or, or somehow it matters that they're physically the seed of Abraham. When people just, just go off and teach and preach this stuff, it's like, have you not read? Have you not read? Jesus said to someone else, hey, have you not read? The kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. Do you think the Jews are bringing forth the fruits of the Holy Bible as they reject Jesus Christ to this day? No. He's taken the kingdom from them. He's given it unto another nation. People who are doing the works, people who are producing fruit, people who are actually saved, people who actually receive Jesus Christ and then are going around and recruiting other people and proselytizing and bringing forth much fruit. Amen. Haven't you read that? That's a simple doctrine. And the way that Jesus explains all of these things when he's given rebukes, turn to chapter 22, he just, it's, like, it's like it should be so easy. And it would be so easy if you just read the Word of God. Just read it and believe what it says. You don't need a man to, to have to, if you need someone, I'll put it this way, if you need someone to have to go through, jump through all these different hoops to try to explain some supposed truth from the Bible, it's probably a lie. It's probably a lie because the Word of God is not that difficult. It's written in a way so that we could understand it. Now, I'm not saying there aren't things that you need to hear and be taught to understand. And, and let, me, let me make sure I'm very clear about that. Because there's sometimes when you read the Bible that you're not quite getting what the Bible says. And you just need to hear someone explain it because they already have understood and been taught and learned what that means. But so many times when it comes to just, just doctrines or whatever, I know in my going to church, hearing Bible preaching, every time I learn something I didn't know before, I look at the Bible and go, oh, it's right there. How could I have missed that? And that's when you know it's true because it's just plain as day on the face of the page. It's just right there. And you think like, wow, I've read this, you know, 10 times. How could I have missed that? But it's still right there. When you hear good preaching and good teaching, you learn something new. That's the way it ought to be. When you have to start building charts 
and, and no, 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 okay, wait. Right here, we're gonna piece all this stuff together to try to prop up some teaching that you would never get just from reading the Bible. Then, you, then you've got a false doctrine. You've got something that just isn't there because nothing should require that, you know, some great level of difficulty to try to piecemeal everything together. Now, if you're comparing just spiritual to spiritual, you say, oh, okay, we've got this uh, story over here, we've got this teaching over here, and you make them fit together, that's not what I'm talking about when you have these, you know, again, that should still be evident. You can read and be like, oh, okay, this is what this is teaching, this is what this is teaching. They fit together. No big deal. But when you're trying to, to take things out of context and try to preach doctrines that just, just not clear at all, that's when you know you've got false doctrine, like the, the pre-tribulational rapture and things like that. There's no way you can just come to those conclusions just by reading. You need to have all these other things built up and established and these different foundations of, oh, no, no, no. See, when, when, when Matthew 24 is, 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 when Jesus is preaching there, he's talking to the Jews. See, the Jews are different people. You have to understand what elect means. Elect doesn't mean that they're just chosen and it's, and it's not, you know, no, they're, they're special people. And when he says, have you not read the kingdom of God shall be taken from you, given to a nation, bring forth the fruits thereof. You know, don't worry about that. That still doesn't impact the Jews because this is still only taught, you know, and they go through all of these different ways of explaining away clear scripture. You've got a false doctrine. 